Good morning, St. Louis, and welcome to another stop on the STL Donut Tour. Today's donut destination is Annie's Bakery in Waterloo, Illinois. Serving the South St. Louis Metro East community since 1973, this family-owned and operated local bakery has been receiving accolades from the St. Louis area for decades, being named Best Bakery by the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, among many other awards. Annie's sells a large variety of pastries, donuts, pies, breads, and cakes, as well as carry-out lunches serving pizza and fried chicken. You can check out their website below for menu and catering information. I showed up today about 7.30 a.m., and the customer in front of me took the last long john, and I got the last French crawler. So if you're looking for some of these amazing donuts, then you've got to get there early. I did manage to snag a tasty selection of popular styles, though, so without any further ado, let's check out those donuts. Starting off today with the classic glaze yeast ring. We have a golden beauty with a thick sugary glaze. You can tell we've got a really nice dough here from the width of that ring, showing how much it rose during frying on each side. I can hardly tell the top from the bottom on this one. It's just fat pillowy goodness all over. The inside is soft, rich, and super buttery. Just melt in your mouth deliciousness. These alone are worth the drive. Next up is the chocolate iced cake donut. Another beautiful classic. The cake is moist and soft with a good chew. The flavor is really buttery and cakey, and just what you want from a great cake donut. There's a layer of semi-sweet chocolate icing with a good bit of chocolatey sweetness. This donut looks and tastes like the recipe hasn't been changed in 50 years, and I love it. Up next is the glazed raspberry jelly donut. This one is just fat and beautiful. I can already see this is bursting with jelly. The Bismarck is rich with buttery goodness and has the perfect chew to it, just like their other yeast donuts. It is just packed with great jelly filling. I love the way the flavors all come together on this with the raspberry filling a little tart and the Bismarck all fatty and rich, but then you've got that thick glaze bringing on the sweetness that ties it all together. This is a phenomenal jelly donut. And next in line is the lucky last French cruller. Topped with a thick, sweet, and delicious white icing that makes me rethink my opinions on them in general. I feel lucky to get the last one of these because this is a phenomenal version of this hard to master classic. The dough work here is exceptional with a great structure of big air pockets making the donut incredibly light and fluffy with a good buttery flavor just enhanced by their fantastic white icing. What a classic. Next up is a popular item in the shop that I just had to feature today, the peanut butter danish. This super soft and fluffy danish is topped with a creamy whipped peanut butter that has an intense nutty sweet flavor. The dough work on this is out of this world. And this has got to be the most melt-in-your-mouth Danish I've ever had. I can totally see why these are so popular. They have plenty of other flavors to choose from if peanut butter isn't your thing, though. The cherry and cheese Danish are also local favorites. And lastly, we have the elusive Bear Claw. My own personal white whale, the pastry I've been hunting since January with only one previous sighting. Wow! Just look at this gorgeous caramel crunch topping and the fabulous shape and overall look. This here is a destination donut. Breaking it open, we've got some really nice swirls of cinnamon, giving it an outrageously intense flavor combination from the caramel and cinnamon. Perfect sidecar for your morning coffee right here. The caramel topping has an intensely deep flavor that I can only describe as decadent. If you're like me and love this style of pastry, then you've got to check out Ani's Bakery because this one is superb. That's my show for this week, everybody. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out next week's episode, which will be the last episode of season three. I'll be visiting 12 more donut shops in and around the St. Louis area coming up next season on the STL Donut Tour.
make sure to click the like and subscribe button down below so you won't miss an upcoming episode. I've been getting a lot of feedback from you guys all over the internet and I am so happy that some of you have been going out to these donut destinations after my episode airs. So please continue to do that. Please go out and support your local businesses, your local bakeries, your local donut shops. Let me know down below in the comment section if you've been to any of my donut destinations or tried the donuts I featured on STL Donut Tour. I'll see you next week on the STL Donut Tour where I'm looking for the gateway to the West through fried dough. Have a great day, everyone.